fulfill your ambition or your aspiration. Everybody has a dream. Everybody has a dream. You want to live a full life. I want to lead a full life. Okay. You want to know what is happening around you. Okay. Now, this is a very powerful motive. Money is a very powerful emotional motivator. Okay. Be careful about it. Does it give you happiness? Think about it. Okay. It get spirituality can also get you happiness without much cost as such. Next slide, please. So having said this, you have to decide your happiness factor. All doctors, anybody in the world must have a happiness factor. No, is it the economy around you is improving or the economy around you? We all had a problem during the, during the uh, COVID time. And the economy really slumped. The environment and then good governance. What was it? How many people went out with mask and transmitting uh, the illness or getting the uh, illness and the infection and going back home? You must look at the domains. I want to be psychologically happy, educationally happy, living standards, use of time. You have to decide what are the domains under which you want to find your happiness. And then your indicators. To me, I would say time spent with family as against time spent at work. I have spent more time at work than I have spent at, with my family. But of course, you live, live with them, you stay with them. That's a different ball game altogether. But do you attend the, under, understand the needs of your children? Do you have the compassion as you had developed for your own children, for your own patient? Do you have the generosity of giving to your children, the feelings of frustration with your patient, frustration with your family? These are all part of your happiness factor. And you have to learn to leave work at home or, or learn to leave work at the place, workplace, and then come to a good work-life balance. Next slide, please. So now having said that, what motivates us? Well, I want a sense of achievement, esteem, actualization. Okay, Dilip, that's fine. 35, yeah, after having spent 40 years, you would like to have this. A sense of fulfillment. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I have done this much. Very good. Reasonable financial health, not a great financial health. Long-term job security, that is something that each doctor is assured of. Long-term job, because you are a professional, you can manage. And please understand, you have a brand image that is stable, and you have to make it grow. Because nobody else can make your brand image go, but and, you know you have to do that. So these are the things that uh, that motivates you. Next slide, please. The last few more slides. I just want to talk. Just I've just wanted to summarize. So you need the training for you to practice your art and science of medicine. You need to sustain yourself and learn how to improve your practice at hospital. And you have to stay invested for the future. Next slide, please. And you will find. Next slide. And you, what is success? You determine whether it is achieving your goals, acquiring, acquiring your wealth, prestige, favor, or power. You decide for yourself. Next slide, please. Because if you don't achieve the success, next slide, you know, you, you just have a good life. You want to be, you, when you're a failure, nobody would listen to you. Nobody moves. You don't attain material success. You're rejected by people. So you weigh between success or failure. And then you look at what motivates you. You look at what brings you happiness. So these are all the things that play around to make the dream of your of the doctor. And finally, next slide, please. Now, uh, next slide. So you are what you do, and not what you say you will do. Okay. So you do your best and whatever you can. Next slide, please. So when my hope for the future. So the doctor's dream. I have just summarized it for you, and I think. I've given you some examples, but the time limitations prevent me from moving further on to this. And next slide. So my hope for the, my future.